Hi everybody, it's Colin here from Woodthorpe International. Uh, sorry about the shaky camera before I do start shaking. I'm having to hold it to manoeuvre and show you different things. Uh, I hope you're all well. I just wanted to share you with, with you what I've been up to. I have been doing some more work on the legs, which I'll show you. Uh, for the truss bridge and I've had to order some more wood about 120 to 130 meters more to complete this bridge now the other thing I wanted to do was have a, a little go with eye trains and the other thing I needed to do was get rid of the old shelf layout on the windowsill uh, I need with eye trains you need to speed measure the train and I was doing it having the best way is with three blocks and I was using points as one of the blocks and sometimes the, the stutter on the points the Cato points were second hand and they were perfect and every now and then the train wouldn't move. Anyway, cut a long story. I've just got a straight bit of track, block, three blocks. The curly one is the helix so I can run a train up and down and it nearly does 200 foot of traveling. If I run it up and down that, just to run trains in and just you know, have a train running a bit longer. So, I can also do programming on this segment as well, these three uh, pieces of track. Oh, one length of track and split into three. So what I wanted to do was get actions to do an action with a train. Now, you've got conditions, and the condition may be uh, something what happens, like going into a block or a station or a goods area, and you want the train to do something when it reaches that point, which is an execution of a action. So, um, three months ago, Robert from Robert's train set did a great video showing actions and he used a condition called time. Now, I can't remember when I changed, changed from 5.0 to 5.1 and then on to 5.1.3 now why I say this because I don't know if when he did it he did it with 5.0 and the difference is now in conditions in 5.0 there was nine conditions now we're on to 5.1.3 does 21 uh, so they've increased and they've altered um, executions as well I believe so do have a look because how what he did was great you know it set off with one train it did so many circuits and then it activated another train which started to move and once that did something he activated another train and this is how fine you can make eye trains go for you. But one of the things I must say with automation, I didn't want to be fully automated. Uh, because I still like driving trains. But because of the new layout, I'm going to need help. And it's not human help. Even with half a dozen of us, we will still need help to make sure that everybody knows what we're doing and we'll be able to see this on screens. And uh, I train saying you can't run that way because there's a train coming. 
that kind of thing. But there are four ways of basically moving trains with I trains uh, manually using in my case this controller as you've seen in the past the loader com track routes where you say if this was a route uh, just let me get my mouse going a track route may be block one to block three and you have a train on it and you click on the track route and it will make whatever train is there go to the end which you know is great uh, another one is train routes where you set up a natural route with a certain train and then there's the point where you just grab a train and this is a 66 you drag it to here you would let go and if you click route it will send it from there it reserve all the track it needs to get to it and the train will just go it's just random you can pick whatever you want it to do you can even shunt with it and stuff like that hence the word here so that's what you can do but with actions you can actually give a list of things you want a train to do and that's what i'm going to show you with this simple bit of track i have a list of the actions so i will show you now if you want to do anything with i trains you know make a plan or load engines or whatever you have to do it in edit and we're wanting actions so we just bring that up we're going to use this one first test and it's active the other things what i was practicing with and learning about it a smaller amount of actions so i've not i've turned them off because if they're highlighted the train will try and do all three and that might mix it up but it'll still do it sorry for the camera shake um basically um you just go down to new you click new we'll give it a name one you you can put description in but you don't have to i'm just gonna um, go straight into the condition and you fill this box up with whatever you want now when you click append it always gives you the list the one what's at the top of the list now in conditions it's operator now maybe later on i'll do a video with the operator to show you but if you just double click on it it brings you this list of different things you can do what the condition is and i'm going to use the clock as the condition when the time gets to a certain time this class 66 is going to start doing what i put in the executions so you click on that and then you have to go and give it a time i've done it for eight o'clock in the morning now you can do it as eight o'clock in the morning or you can do it as eight o'clock in the morning when you want it to be eight o'clock like in 10 minutes time you can do it as you can see every day they can all be highlighted so every day if your train if if i trains is up and running it will do the same thing every day at eight o'clock what i'm going to show you just one point with this time business i said that it will always run it will always run if every the condition is set now if you don't have that 
active, it won't run. And because I've named the train what's on the track, because when locomotive, uh, um, what's it called in execution? Sorry about this. Um, locomotive function is clicked. You have to tell it which loco. So if that loco isn't on the track in block one, in my case, and that is not active, it won't do it. So it'll only do it every day if all the conditions are set right. Now, we'll go from conditions to execution and the first thing what will come up here is interface. So you have to then tell it that you want, in my case, the rector on first and you want it to be online connected and then you click append again and you get that one and then I would do in my case it's the commander to get power and connect now again I'll just apply that so I don't lose it and then the first thing after that turn the sound on so what you do you go to system and it gives you a list of things here and it says turn sound on now that's not the sound of the train it's just it's turn a sound on and it could be anything and then you have to go and put and i'll show you the list so i won't run through it again here when i turn it on the left hand red light will change green. That is another indication to try and show you that it's running all at the same time. I'm just filming this separate uh, of the list of actions it's going to do in the order from top to bottom. Um, because I've just watched back this uh, video and I tried to show the light coming on on the rector on the left hand side just next to the clock and the list and I've made it smaller so you can see the train running at the same time which I've never done before uh, and it's just not very well it's non-existent I can see it but you can't but the order is the interface is turned on with the rector and the commander. Um, five seconds later, uh, turn sound on, which is the Evening Star 66, and it's the motor. And then 15 seconds later, the lights uh, turn on. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can see the lights coming on, but they do. I apologise, it's just not uh, picked it up on a different camera. And at the uh, time the lights come on, the next thing is it says the actual train in block one, which is that block there the route will light up across that line to say the route from block one to block three automatic At 15 seconds it will start off which you'll sit you do see after it starts to move 25 seconds later there is another system turn sound on which is the horn now i don't know if you can hear on the actual very clear but on robert's train set he does his i think every time it gets near a um 
a cross seam and I believe that's part of a block and I haven't done that one yet um, I've just done it with time and then 60 seconds after you hear the horn it will reverse back from block three this is block three back to block one and then another 45 seconds after it sets off so not when it gets to block one it will turn the engine off the lights and the engine so I hope that just so you can see it a bit better the list and the list can be like I said you know as endless as you know as much as you want uh, good fun putting it together right so we're gonna send it on its uh, action course so here we go so with five seconds Rector, as you can see, is coming on on the bottom right hand side of the screen with the commander. Sound is starting now. It's set up five seconds. Yeah. The lights will come on. And then up here, the action for route to block where it is from one to three. There will be a call at some point. So now it's there, it will change direction and the route will come back up from here, from block three to block one. Just round about now, there you are. And if we go back to block one, turn off the lights and turn off the sound so you end up. And as you can see as it goes out of one block, that block is then free when it gets into one two will undo like that and it'll come to a stop And that's the Evening Star Class 66 doing all those actions. Just an update on the trestle bridge. These are more legs. There is seven legs out of the rest what needed doing, which was, I can't honestly remember how many it was. 
Uh, no, I can't remember. I think it was about 12 legs I had to do. I'm guessing 12. Um, I've got some more wood order uh, uh, to finish this off and to do the tops for the track to sit on and the boards for the people to walk, you know, maintenance men to walk around. I've got that to come. Uh, I've just got to weather the concrete bits at the bottom. Um, just looking at this here, this isn't messy. <laughs> it was messy. But this oil we've used for here, you thin it down with turps, uh, oh, white spirit, sorry. And even if it goes hard and your brush goes hard, you just put your put a bit of white spirit in to dilute it and it just softens it and there's just no point cleaning the tray and wasting it and uh, I don't know if you can tell there's three different colours there but there is and that's the three colours on here well thanks very much for watching um, I hope I've explained it good enough to make sense of it for you or to maybe you look at you know maybe trying it thanks very much for watching and look forward to speaking to you in the next video bye for now bye